back on the show this Tuesday. Great to have 4th District Congressman Mike Johnson with us this morning, uh, sworn in back in January. That's right. That uh, And first of all, welcome, Mike. Thanks for stopping Thanks. by. Thanks. Thanks for having yeah. us. Sure. It's nice to have you on Good Day, Sin. Well, thank you for being with us. Glad to be with you. And catching a plane flight shortly, going back to work. We are. It, it starts back in earnest today. We've got the big health care reform. We're working on lots of other things, so no rest for the weary in Washington. <laughs> and uh, speaking of health care, what uh, you think it'll take a bipartisan effort to uh, come up with any type of solution? I, I wish that were the case. I, I hope it. I hope it is. Ultimately, yeah. you know, the House did the heavy lifting. We sent the bill over there several weeks ago. The Senate is uh, is mulling it over. Maybe they're going to rewrite it. Look, I'm in prayer to be honest that they do a really good job with it. We have to fix the the, the problem. People in Louisiana know mm -hmm. our premiums have risen over 124 percent on average since Obamacare came into existence. So it's a real problem. We've got to solve it. What do you think, if, you know, what do you think is going to happen? Um, we're going to find out here in the next, I mean, we're all on the edge of our seats, really. Uh, the Senate, uh, there was a lot of deliberations over the July 4th break. Uh, we're seeing different people telegraph different messages, so we're going to find out when we get there this afternoon. We'll Should see. Should be a lot of fun when you go back to work, huh? I don't know if fun's the right <laughs> word. I was about to say, I don't know if it's going to be fun. It may be exhausting. So yeah. what do you hope to accomplish? Well, we, we in, in the health care reform area, of course, we've got to drive down premiums, get deductibles back down to a manageable level, and make sure that everyone is cared for. We want the most Americans to have the best accessible care that they can under the new system, and I think that's achievable. So it's a heavy lift, but I think we'll get it done. Tax reform is next on the agenda, and that's going to be a game changer because if we reduce the corporate tax rates and in, individual income tax rates as well, it'll free up the free market again, I think, and, and allow for the creation of new jobs and more opportunity. And that's what we need in a state like Louisiana. you got a lot to do between now and the end of 2017. We do. I, I'm optimistic we can get it done. There's a, real, uh, there's a real effort to push it and get it done by the end of this year, so I think we will. You really uh, emphasize veterans, Fort Polk here in central Louisiana. Um, Absolutely. Touch on that a little bit. Well, it's it's encouraging to have a White House that that is very pro veteran, and we certainly are in our district. We have Fort Polk here in the south part mm -hmm. of our district, Barksdale Air Force Base in the northern yeah. part. Lots of veterans. Uh, we've had over 20 pro veteran votes uh, so far in this Congress already, just since January, uh, reforming the VA, uh, getting better care and, and uh, disability uh, options for our veterans, and we need to do all those things. We, they deserve the greatest treatment that we can provide, and there's a lot more work to be done in that regard. We were talking about this district. It's a unique uh, unique yes. district, this 4th congressional, congressional District. Greatest people in the world. Uh -huh. um, but the district is 15 parishes, so it stretches all along the western yeah. part of the state, goes into the northern part as well. 760,000 folks. Their values are exactly the same. They care about jobs and the economy and national security. And, and uh, we're working hard on all those issues, and I, I think we're going to deliver for the folks. I know you have a lot of um, primary priorities, but at the top of your list, what would you say is, you know, what is your primary focus at this point? Well, uh, we've done town halls all over the district. We're continuing to do that. I think it's an important part of the job. And what we hear from everyone, regardless of where they are in the district or the state or the country for that matter, is about a more economic opportunity, jobs. We want our children to be able to have opportunities to stay here in Louisiana and do well uh, and raise their families here, as we all have. And uh, national security, the fight against terrorism, all these things are, are, are big uh, concerns for the folks, and we're working very hard on all those items. Can you update us on Congressman Scalise? Thanks for asking. You know, he's uh, he's in serious condition. Yep. Um, you know, the, the gunshot wound was serious and he has lots of internal organ damage and, and fighting an infection now. So let, let's, you know, all continue to pray for him. He certainly needs it right now. This job, uh, was it anything like you dreamed it would be when you were sworn in back in January? Uh, you know, it's, it's been surprising in, in, in some ways. Uh, one, of the, one of the pleasant surprises is uh, the degree of collegiality that is there in the Congress. Um, mm -hmm. In our freshman class, I authored a document called A Commitment to Civility. We got 50 out of 55 members, new members of Congress sign on to it to commit, regardless of party, right. regardless of philosophy, yeah. work together, and I think that's important. And that is important. Good mm -hmm. point. The best way to get in touch with you? Yeah, uh, contact our, our offices. The best way is the website. It's Mike johnson.house.gov. Mm -hmm. It's got all of our offices. We have them all over the district and, of course, in D.C. And if any of our constituents are, uh, are making a visit, let us know. We'll get you set up for VIP tours and all the rest. It's Sounds good fun. to me. I may take him up on it. Now you That's have right. a safe travel. <laughs> thank you and very thank much. And thank you for serving our yep. community. Thank you. Mike, appreciate thanks what for stopping by. Appreciate thank it. You.